Hi, I'm Morning. I'm Tay. And this space belongs to Val. So today we're going to teach you and share with you a very simple mindfulness practice that will help you set an intention for the rest of the conference. Why this is so important? Let's think about this way. We've all had one of those mornings, right? We feel like we got up the wrong side of the bed, your feet land on the ground and you step on your kid's Lego. You open the door and then you saw that your dog has pooped on your favorite rug. You go on and you want to brush your teeth but you ran out of toothpaste and then the rest of the day just sort of unfolds in this same funky manner. Whereas, on the other hand, if you had kind of gotten out of bed and set an intention for yourself that grounds you and centers you to your response to the whatever that happens after, you might have said, I decided today that I want to be in the present moment. You might have seen the Lego on the floor and actually step over it or even pick it up and put it back where it belongs. You open the door, you see the dog poop on the floor. Of course, you will react as a human. You will glare at the dog and then you will come back, you will pick up the mess and then very calmly, once you're done with that, you will go to the bathroom, you will realize that the toothpaste is out and then so you will naturally be in the present moment, find a new toothpaste so that the next person who comes in and uses it will have the toothpaste. See how circumstances of life does not change, but your internal response follows what you set an intention to. It almost sounds like this mindfulness practice is magical, but really it's grounded in good old fashion science. We, when we set an intention, what we're really doing is we are priming our RAS, reticular activating system, a fancy word that simply means the filter through which you process all your experiences and then tells the brain how to react, how to respond, how to direct your energies as well as your resources both phys physically, mentally and emotionally towards navigating your day-to-day -day experiences. So, no matter how you are showing up at the Seattle Interactive Conference right now in this moment, we are going to bring you through this powerful but super simple exercise so that you get the best possible experience. Ready? So I want you to just go ahead and if you're sitting on a chair, whether you're on a bay or on a chair, I want you to sit like a mountain. A uh, mountain, as we've all seen, Mount Rainier, like it's centered, it's grounded, and it's very relaxed at the same time. So allowing your shoulders to just drop away from your ears. Allowing your body to sink deeper into your chair. At this point in time, you may choose to let your eyes simply lower their gaze down to somewhere down in front of you. And if you choose to do so, you may close your eyes or keep them open. Now go ahead and sense into your body. Where is your breath at in this moment? Just noticing whether it is the in-breath at the tip of your nose, the exhale at the tip of your nose, whether it is an up and down motion of your chest, or whether it's like a whole body kind of a breath. Just noticing where is the breath the strongest in your body right now. Now for some of us, focusing our attention on our breath may make us feel just a little bit more anxious. So in that case, simply land your attention to where your hands have contact on your body. So whether your hands may be placed gently on the lap or on your chair or even crossed in front of you. Simply focus on the sensation of the contact between your hands and your body. So now that you know where the strongest sensation of breath or the physical sensation is in your body, we're going to call that your anchor breath or the anchor sensation, right? And throughout the entire conference or even through this tiny exercise, anytime you find your attention wandered away or you got distracted or somebody came into your room or whatever it is, bring your attention back to your anchor breath or this anchor sensation, your hands on your lap. Now just notice your breath. Notice how as you inhale, the inhale continues. The inhale comes to an end, exhale begins, 
and exhale comes to an end. This is what we call a full cycle of breath. Right? In the next one minute, you're going to count for yourself how many full cycles of breath you took. Ready? If your eyes are closed, go ahead and gently open your eyes. Take a nice, long, big breath in. Then a nice, nice, slow, gentle exhale. Two more breaths just like that. Just bringing yourself back into the present moment. Inhaling. And exhale. See if you can let your exhale extend longer than your inhale. One more, let's make it count. Inhale, and exhale, the count of five, four, three, two, one. Now in this space of present moment awareness, allow an intention to bubble up forth within you. A way you can go about thinking about this is what would you like to learn, receive, or experience over the next two days at the Seattle Interactive Conference? What would you like to learn, receive, or experience over the next two days? And once you have like a word, a sound, or a phrase, or a sensation, allow that intention to become your anchor for the next two days during the conference. Bring yourself, remind yourself what your intention is so that at the end of the conference, you know what you came for and you know what you received at the end of the day. For me, Seattle Interactive Conference Zone is one of my favorite ones to participate at because I always leave the space so inspired. So I think for me, the next two days, my anchor word would be inspiration. And for me, it's really just to be open to the experience, to have an open mind and open heart to learn and to, and to receive what others are here to share their wisdom and their experience and to receive the highest that is for me to experience right now. So thank you so much for joining us with this super simple exercise. We hope you received exactly what you need and whatever your intention may be, we hope you find and discover something even better.